keeping up with Comic-Con. We are now on day four, and we are with the awesome David Crownson and his unique title, Harriet Tubman, Demon Slayer. So David's gonna give us a scoop on it. So what's up, David? How are you? Hello. All right, it's, uh, hey everyone. Uh, it's basically just a reimagination of Harriet Tubman as we know and love her, but what if she knew martial arts, and what if she had superhuman strength, and uh, vampires and demons and werewolves all exist, and Harriet Tubman is the chosen one to uh, battle all of this and, while leading slaves to freedom at the same time. It's action-packed, it has heart, and uh, I promise it's very fun. <laughs> how'd, you, how'd you come up with this? Oh, yeah, I think I was just watching, I was traveling and I was watching a documentary about uh, Harriet Tubman. And then I was kind of channel surfing and I landed on uh, Crouch, Tiger, and Dragon. And then was watching um, Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters. And then like, they all kind of like just melded into my head. And like, later on that night, I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, Harriet Tubman, Katana fight scene. And then uh, Witch Hunters, and I was like, Harriet Tubman, Demon Slayer. Like, like what if all of that existed in the same world where Harriet Tubman knew, knows martial arts and moves like they do at, in Crouch and Tiger, and uh, is beating up a, a racist werewolf. Like, it, it just seemed cool to me. And then, uh, yeah, I, the idea to make it a comic book came when I arrived back uh, home. And I was in the airport and I saw like a, a book by Brian Michael Bendis on how to write comic books. He's my favorite comic, one of my favorite comic book writers. So I just bought the book and uh, yeah, taught myself how to, well not taught myself, I just read the book referencing it. And uh, yeah, here we are. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Great idea. I hope the convention's been great for you. Oh, it has. We're going to fan over some of the back issues and the most current issue here. We're sold out. <laughs> That's awesome. The favorite words. When you're in music, sold out is not a good word. But in comic books, sold out, it's great. Yes. Yes. That's an awesome poster. For those. Thank you. Hey, thanks for being part of this. Well, Take care, so man. Much. Hey, what's going on, Comic Con? We're now over here at Tenacious Toys with the owner of Benny. And Benny's going to give us the skinny on what's going on with Comic-Con and their line of coolness. So let's go. What's up, everybody? I am Benny Klein. I'm the alpha dog at TenaciousToys.com. You can always find me. If you see a blue Pitbull logo, that is me. So we started selling our toys about 17 years ago. And we've been uh, kicking ass and taking names uh, for 17 years. We've recently moved into manufacturing our own toys for about 15 years. We bought toys from other people. But now, we're manufacturing our own pieces, uh, which would be like, uh, here's one with paint on it, but this is a skinny cap, so it's a giant graffiti, you know, spray cap, it's an aerosol spray cap. This one's been customized, hand painted by the New York City graffiti artist KR1, that's Louis Gasparo, but there are uh, lots of different artists customizing these caps. I sell them as DIYs, but uh, the whole point is that you would paint your own. Um, I've got a number of products uh, in my booth this year. I have Best Buds. Uh, these are handmade resin figures. Uh, you went by Rumpus, that's made by UBD Toys. It's by an artist, uh, Kansas City artist named Scribe. Um, this is my little dog, but re-sculpted and remolded as uh, a little Ninja Turtle, so it's Teenage Mutant Danger, uh, Danger Dog. These are my Danger Dogs. These are my little Pitbull uh, mascots as uh, Amerifubi, which is American-made Japanese-style soft vinyl. Uh, basically in my shop, what I tried to do is I tried to offer collectibles, which are limited edition, which cannot be found anywhere else. So the whole point of my shop is that you come to my website, or you know, you come to New York Comic Con, everything you see, you've never seen before. It's all totally fresh, totally new. I spent all day, every day, sourcing, merchandising, picking products, you know, paying invoices, putting them up on my website. This is what I do. I, I try to keep my fingers on the pulse of what's cool, what's new, what's limited edition, what's made by independent artists, independent creators. 
I talk to them, I establish relationships, I stack their products, I promote them, I push their name out there as far as I can. We have a symbiotic relationship, so I'm really trying to build and maintain a vibrant community of creators of toys. Um, a lot of times these creators are artists in their own right, they might be graphic designers, they could be uh, graffiti artists, um, they could do other things as a main job, but they do art on the side, but I'm trying to help all of them get up a little bit, so that is what I do. Awesome. Thanks a lot, Benny. These are great. I appreciate it. Have a great con. Thank you so much. Hey, what's up? Keeping up the keeping up with New York Comic Con. We're here at Junction City Comics with Todd McKnight. Hello. And he's going to tell us what's going on at the table and at the convention this year. Hi, right, so this is a superhero universe that me and my friend Tom Pescator created. Uh, three different books. A uh, series going on? Four, I'm sorry. Uh, we got the all new Fancy Man, the all new Union. Hey, all right, man, feel free to look at the young Boy, boy which is kind of like an absurdist comedy, CIA, KGB stuff. Uh, Mr. Disaster, which is uh, kind of noir, with a little comedy peppered in. And Tales of Union, which is a full color anthology of the original team in of our universe. Very cool. And these are all connected, they're all intertwined. These are all originals in there. Cool. So what's the, uh, like an origin of Fancy Man? So the origin is, uh, that team, the Tales of the Union, uh, was the original team. And they failed to save New York. And it blew up uh, from a bomb that actually took away all superpowers. Um, and this takes place, he was in the original team, Flair. So it starts out, as you can see this first page, like New York is decimated. And he spends the series trying to atone for the loss and the search for his friend the Dodger. And it goes multidimensional. Very cool, very cool. Alright. That brings me to the end. Thanks, Tom. Thank you. Here we are with another installment of our little videos, and we're at Thunderbolt Pictures and iLoco Productions at New York Comic Con. And Paul is going to talk to us a little bit about what's going on here. So, hey, Paul, what's up? Hello, everybody. So, so, so give us. So, our services is we we take your comic book and we put camera motions to each panel, and it's all catered to whatever's going on in your story. So, nothing's automated. You know, it's all like done. You know. Um, uh, detail by detail. We have professional voice actors that will come on board and bring your characters to life. Then on top of that, we'll do sound design. And there's also options for special effects uh, if you like. So, you know, the main thing about this is it's another option, you know, that's more uh, affordable than, you know, full-blown animation, which could be like 3,000 to 7,000 a minute. Um, so, yeah, you know, that's our services. We did Christian Espiria Santos uh, comic book, Warrior is the Monk's Realm, and I made a, may pronounce his last name wrong, I apologize. And yeah, so that's what's playing right now, and, and uh, yeah, we got some more stuff coming uh, coming out later this year and next year. Cool, and speaking of Christian, here he is. Hey, how you doing guys? How's everybody doing today? So tell us what's going on here, man. Oh, uh, yeah, we're uh, we're here at New York Comic Con enjoying ourselves and the beautiful people here. Uh, New York Comic Con 2021. Yes, I'm actually doing a piece of artwork right now on The Walking Dead. I was published on the official Walking Dead magazine number 18. That's right here. You guys can pick it up, check it out. It's awesome. Contribute pinup artists on The Walking Dead. It's pretty awesome, and I also have my comic book, Warriors Amongst Realms, issue exclusive number one, number two, and number three that came out for New York Comic Con. Tell us a little bit about this character in this book. Well, these characters, uh, the stories about uh, these guys that receive mystical powers from another realm, and they use it to protect our world against the evil warlord, Lord Agonist, who threatens to invade and destroy us. Very good, very good. Yeah. All right, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Just a little simple stuff. Appreciate it.
everyone, our next chapter is with Andrew Kavori of BattleQuest Comics. And thank you because I'm just like getting tongue tied now, so I made him say it. So Andrew's going to talk to us about what's going on at Comic Con and what's the latest and greatest with them. Yeah, right on. So uh, we're from Portland, Oregon. We publish tales of heroes who go on journeys to fight villains. Awesome. And uh, this is a Nomad the Unconquerable. It's our first book. It's a tale of sword and sorcery where Nomad goes to battle the enemies of the Moon Goddess in order to try to wield her amulet and become the protector of his land. Sweet. And uh, let's take a look at these. Yeah, I'll show you the inside art if you'd like. Of course. Oh, let me get back to it. Yeah, so all the art in the Nomad universe comes in this kind of light blue hue to give it this epic stoic fantasy feel. And if you grew up like in the early 80s like I did and you had all those, you know, sort of Star Wars spin-off movies and things like that, Nomad's like right up your alley. If you like stuff like Krull and Legend and, and, and He-Man and stuff like that, the Nomad might be for you. Awesome, awesome. Very good, very good. Yes, sir. All three books, just twenty dollars for the three. All for all, all for three. And they got yes, some sir. great sales here. All right. Thanks a lot, Andrew. Thank you, my I appreciate friend. it. I appreciate you. Bye.